So let us uh, start at nearly 12.15 sharp. Um, and it's great to see all of us uh, here on a very nice summer day. And uh, as the origins of this particular event uh, uh, date back to uh, the, the gathering in Tsesis in Lampa, when we met a number of the speakers and agreed that this is, we shall still try to do an event uh, this summer on the blockchain technology as part of the FinTech, um, FinTech Action Plan. So I guess the best events are the ones that uh, come together like this. And um, given the amount of interest, we've arranged for an overflow room, which is also nicely air-conditioned with the uh, streaming through Facebook. So um, I think uh, we have the, the standing party um, having gone to the over, overflow room. So without further ado, I will, I will start with a brief, um, brief introduction. Um, and um, first of all, um, tremendous thanks to the uh, representation of the European Commission for hosting us here today and uh, to our partner, uh, Everschitz Bittan's uh, law offices, uh, for supporting uh, the event. And the event would not be possible without the partnership of a number of institutions, including Latvia's Bank, uh, um, the uh, Estonian Banking Association, the two blockchain associations uh, of Latvia, which I heard over the initial coffee, have now agreed to merge. Uh, so that's uh, very good news for all of us looking for a strong partner in the blockchain space, uh, space here. Um, in terms of the uh, priorities of the uh, Finance Latvia Association, which has uh, itself uh, uh, come into existence on July 12th when the members of the Association of Latvian Commercial Banks voted to uh, expand um, the activities of the association and to uh, to change also the name uh, befitting to the, the way we've actually been working over the last uh, year, which is bringing together a range of industry players in the finance uh, related uh, services and, and the technology to put in action the vision of Latvian financial services being the um, being at the forefront of both the cooperation and the digitally savvy uh, service provision uh, across the banking union which is um, which is the second largest banking market uh, in the world. Uh, in terms of the priorities of the association, they will um, remain as, as defined last year. We're working on the issues related to development, technology and compliance uh, with uh, the respective visions being that we're definitely looking at developing higher value added service provision uh, from within Latvia and to the benefit of the Latvian economy. In terms of the technology, uh, we We've set uh, quite an ambitious vision that we, we are working towards the uh, most digitally advanced uh, services by 2022. And in terms of compliance, very clearly working towards the highest compliance standards in the financial, uh, financial sector here. Uh, and the origins of, of uh, the series of events that we've been holding on the fintech um, issues did back to um, us uh, coming together here in Latvia as nine industry associations and submitting to the European Commission response to the fintech consultation paper where we outlined uh, why we believe we are, relatively speaking, uh, quite developed in terms of digital services here in Latvia relative to the rest of Europe. What do we want to have achieved uh, at the European level in terms of regulations and, and the approach to regulation and what do we want to have achieved in Latvia. And um, as we will go through today, we'll also look back at one of the issues we identified jointly as, as priority for this year, which was introducing the remote electronic identification of customers finally here, which we've managed to achieve and the cabinet, of re cabinet regulations have been adopted. So uh, one very practical outcome of, of this collaboration from all involved. We then uh, had a follow-on discussion this March uh, after a series of smaller events uh, over the last fall uh, with Mr. Dombrovskis here in Riga launching the EU FinTech Action Plan. And at that point, we agreed with the European Commission that we will actually be looking to deepen the Baltic, uh, Baltic discussion and, and participation of the Baltic partners in, uh, in the making of these policies and making of these proposals through the various working groups. Um, and we're glad to have um, 
one member of the blockchain working group here among us as well. Um, so um, we'll be able to share those perspectives. In terms of the, the industry and the association, where we see all of this as part of the open uh, digital finance framework that uh, the council adopted uh, last uh, December, uh, which um, uh, spells out the priorities uh, for 2018, and most likely uh, some of these will still be priorities in 2019, where we're working um, towards a number of larger topics, which is discussions around the use of uh, and reuse of data in the public registries for the benefit of the consumers here in Latvia, where we need to um, advance uh, further. So uh, there might be, um, you know, maybe down the road, some of the ideas that uh, come through today's discussion actually help uh, towards this uh, this effort. Um, there's a lot, lot still to be done around sharing of the information between private and private parties and private and public parties. Uh, again, for the benefit of the of the consumers, we mentioned the electronic, remote electronic identification, which we're glad, at least in terms of the framework level, has been set out, and. Um, and uh, not least, uh, we see that the consumers uh, in the Latvian and also the Baltic market actually um, changing their behavior much, much faster than the SMEs in the local market. And so uh, that's, that's an open question of how we engage further with the SMEs uh, that they benefit from the, from the European um, digital developments. And so in terms of the agenda today, uh, we've um, uh, set out... Uh, to have a keynote um, addressed by Mr. Zilgalvis as the co-chair of the EU FinTech uh, Task Force. And we're glad that um, we will uh, we'll have a, a number of uh, um, other presentations to stimulate the discussion that will uh, be moderated by Mr. Zilgalvis. Um, that will then be uh, uh, followed by the coffee break, after which we will delve into one specific uh, policy development that I already mentioned, which is uh, introduction of remote electronic identification for the Latvian financial uh, sector players and the framework conditions that the Cabinet of Ministers regulations set out. So as we were um, heavily involved uh, in, in drafting these regulations, of course, with the Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Justice and the Financial Capital, Markets Commission, we felt that broader knowledge on the market of how the different provisions came about uh, will only be, be helpful for speedier, uh, speedier adoption of these practices. And, um, and uh, in terms of um, some of the practicalities, the event is on record. We are being broadcasted uh, on the European Commission representation's uh, Facebook uh, page. We also will be looking to uh, use uh, certain bits and pieces from the discussion uh, for policy discussion purposes. Uh, later throughout the, the year and um, also importantly uh, we, um, we've, uh, we've set out to um, consolidate the ideas emanating from the discussion and, and see how we will uh, feed these into uh, the discussions at the Latvian and the, and the EU level going forward. So with that let me pass on to uh, Mr. Zilgalvis for the keynote address and we'll take it forward.